Ask Reddit by YOPF. What's a celebrity that was once huge and now lives a completely normal life? The kid who played Charlie in the original Willy Wonka. He went on to be a veterinarian. Rock on, dude. Help the little gritters. Bill Watterson, creator of Calvin and Hobbes, refused to license his work out and retired when the comics were huge at 37. Walked away from potentially hundreds of millions because he thought it would jeopardize the integrity of his art through commercializing it. I think he's refused any public interview and the only publicly available picture of him is from over 30 years ago. Lives in a modest neighborhood in Cleveland. He's a frequent patron of the library I used to work at and you really wouldn't be able to pick him out of a lineup of other lovely curmudgeons unless you happen to be the one scanning his card. Chunk from the Gooners became a lawyer. I remember hearing on a podcast that Kehu Icon called him for advice when he got offered the part in EAAO and said he's a really great lawyer. Queen's John Deacon. Lives quietly wherever. Has minimal contact with Queen, though they do run ideas by him as a courtesy. Deacon lives quietly with his wife Veronica for whom he wrote his first major hit You're My Best Friend when they were newlyweds and expecting their first baby, 1975. They'll be celebrating their 49th anniversary next month. They still live in the house they bought back when the money started coming in. They had six children, five boys and one girl, and now who knows how many grandchildren. It was Rick Astley until we relentless trolled our teachers and friends with the Rick Roll circa 2006-ish. Remember when he was successfully Rickrolled during an AMA? Fucking legendary El Mayo. Greta Garbo was the biggest movie star in the world throughout the 30s. She made her last movie in 1941, at the age of 36. She then spent the next 50 years living alone in a New York apartment. She was known for taking daily walks around Manhattan, and Garbo spotting was a popular New York activity in the 60s, 70s and 80s. Honestly that sounds great. Make your money and then relax for the next 70 years. Newt from Aliens, Carrie Henn, is a teacher. I heard her friends love to needle her with phrases like it's going to be mostly rainy tomorrow, mostly. Deleted. I sent Cisco a drunken voice message of reading out NSFW dad jokes and he immediately sent one back just laughing his ass off. Good guy. Rick Moranus. He left Hollywood because his wife died, and he wanted to raise his kids. I would say Jonathan Taylor Thomas. He was so big in the 90s. Now he's mostly if not entirely behind the scenes. This would have been my answer. Dude made his home improvement and Lion King money and then peaced out. Makes sense when you see what happens to so many child actors. The girl who played Harper on Wizards of Waverly Place is a RN now. Oh good for her. Disney tends to fuck a lot of young actors up, so I'm glad she's doing good. Tom from MySpace. I respect him a lot compared to all the other major internet company guys. Wasn't trying to change the world or farm data or move us into some technocratic future, just made a cool thing, sold it and does what he wants now. Bill Withers passed away in 2020, but he's the ultimate example of being on top and just dropping out and living his life. I love Bill. He never fully quit his blue collar job, even when fully immersed in making music because he never trusted the people. And recognized his famous fleeting. He was great. Probably in my top 5 songwriters. Mike Vitter. He played Benny in the Sandlot. He became a firefighter with LAFD. I had a huge crush on him, maybe there is actually a chance? The voice actor for the kid from Up is going through medical residency right now. That makes me feel old. I saw this movie in theaters as an adult. 
Eric Pasulovnak at UE from Malcolm in the Middle he's pretty much left acting entirely and has no social media accounts I like to think he's living a peaceful normal life. I've heard from a friend in Ohio that, at least a few years ago, he was working at his parents Mexican restaurant somewhere around Cleveland. Take it with a grain of salt, if someone tells me this is wrong I get to tell my friend he's full of shit. Up until recently I would have said Kahui Kwan. Happy for the guy as he always wanted a comeback. Crazy that he and Brendan Fraser both got their Oscars together. Stacy Keenan. Was on to big sitcoms in the 80s and 90s. Charming. Beautiful. Had amazing prospects. Then she dropped out of the business. Went to law school. Now she's a district attorney. Meg White. Just read a great article about her in Elle magazine. Searching for Meg White, https colon slash slash www.l.com slash culture slash music slash a4384638 slash meg dash white dash interview dash 2023 slash close bracket Rick Moranus from Wikipedia in 1997, Moranis took a hiatus from working in the film industry. He later explained, I'm a single parent and I just found that it was too difficult to manage to raise my kids and to do the traveling involved in making movies. So I took a little bit of a break. After his wife died, he just wanted to raise their kids. I adore him. Eric Estrada who played Officer Francis Luell in Ponch Poncharello on Sheepies became a real-life police officer in St. Anthony, Idaho. Imagine getting pulled over and assuming it's a joke. He was never huge but Beans from Even Stevens now works at my local mall. I think it's doubly hard for child actors like him. Thing is, you don't really get paid a ton as a child actor for those Nick shows. Sure. If you're the main headline star the show is about, you get some, but even prominent regular characters on that show, they're making good money, but they aren't making set for life money. The lucky ones get to continue their career and make the real money on the job after the job, but most of the rest of the cast go from being on TV every week to going back to normal life like everyone else. Jeff Cohen. Played Chunk in Goonies. Now an entertainment lawyer most recently responsible for helping Guna's co-star Kehuai Kwan with his role in Everything Everywhere All At Once. Tonya Harding. She now owns a landscaping business and has said she's really happy with it. Every time I read or watch something about her, I always flip one way then the other, then back. I never know how to feel about her. I do know that her life has become more grounded and steady and she's had kids and what not and by all accounts, she is happy. Molly Ringwald seems to lead a pretty normal life. I live in Tacoma, WA and she apparently has some friends or family out here because she'll visit from time to time you'll just go to a restaurant and see Molly Ringwald very casually grabbing a bite and you're just like, oh hey that's pretty cool and that's that. Wasn't she our cheese mom in Riverdale? 